In this recipe, I'm going to show you how to connect an Arduino to a Raspberry Pi and also program the Arduino from the Raspberry Pi. So here we have uh, an Arduino board. This one is actually an Arduino Uno R3. The release 3 is kind of the latest standard um, and it has a few extra connectors from the earlier Arduino Unos, but um, pretty much any Arduino will work just fine with the Raspberry Pi. Any kind of Arduino Uno uh, style one, so the, the Uno or the earlier Due Mila Nove, uh, would be just, just good with this. The Arduino is connected to the Raspberry Pi uh, via a USB hub because now we've got a keyboard, mouse, and the Arduino all connected to the Raspberry Pi's USB socket. So, they're, uh, so we need the hub because we've only got two sockets here. Um, the Arduino is superficially a little bit like the Raspberry Pi. It's a small single board computer. The difference really is that the Arduino doesn't have any operating system. You just upload a single program onto it and then that program runs. The Arduino is also somewhat more rugged than the Raspberry Pi when it comes to using GPIO pins. It has its own GPIO pins along these headers here. You can just kind of see them labelled. And as well as being able to provide a lot more output current, they, the, it also, the Arduino also has analog inputs. So you can read analog sensor values directly without having to have a separate analog chip. Which means that um, really using the Raspberry Pi in combination with the Arduino is, is pretty good because you're sort of playing to the strengths of both devices. You've got the um, Raspberry Pi can host a nice rich user interface or a web interface or that kind of thing. And then it can communicate with the Arduino which can take care of the sort of low down electronic interfacing. So let's have a look at how we can set up our Raspberry Pi so that we can program an Arduino from it. The first thing we do need to do is install the Arduino IDE which we can do with these commands. So the package is just called Arduino, and we hit that. And if it's um, it's already installed on this particular machine, but if it isn't, it will just prompt you, "Do you want to install?" You say yes. It will download all the stuff it needs and set it up for you. So that has actually put the Arduino IDE onto the Raspberry Pi, but the base installation doesn't actually include this configuration uh, information that is needed to say that we're using um, an Arduino board connected through the USB interface of the Raspberry Pi. For that we need to write, we need to run an, a configuration script. And there are various scripts out there that you can download and run uh, on the internet. The one that I'm going to use actually sets up the Arduino for using a regular Arduino Uno, sets up the Raspberry Pi for using the Uno, but it also sets up the Raspberry Pi Arduino environment so that it will work with the a la mode board which we're going to see a bit later on in this chapter. So for that reason I'm using this setup script and it's quite a big long URL that you have to go and get for this so I've got this in my command history let me just find it for you. Okay so this is probably where you pause the video and um, put that URL into your into your command. So we use wget um, and then this long GitHub URL, and then the extra option to save the file that it's downloading as alamode setup.tar.gz. We'll do that and get it to download it again. Okay, it's connecting. It's downloading it. Okay, there we go. All right, it's fetched it down. So now what we need to do is extract the tar file. So we have another command for that. So we need to do tar minus xzf alamode setup dot tar dot gz. Um, and then we need to, that will have created a directory called alamode setup. So if we cd to that. And then within that, we had to run the script that we just downloaded, downloaded, which we do with sudo dot slash setup. 
OK, so that should have set up everything we need for our, Ar our Arduino environment to work OK with the Arduino Uno and also the Ala mode board. So now if we go and have a look on our programs menu down here, we'll see that we've got a category here called electronics. And within that, we've got the Arduino IDE. So let's fire up the Arduino IDE. The Raspberry Pi is not a massively powerful computer. It's a, it's a 700 megahertz processor, so it takes a little while for the Arduino IDE to start up. So if it, uh, don't, don't panic. If nothing happens for a few seconds, it takes a little while to get going. The Arduino IDE is based on Java as well, which is quite resource hungry, which makes the matter, it makes it even slower. So let's close our command window just to get it out of the way so we can see what we've got here. This is what you see when you first start up the Arduino integrated development environment. And it's basically a blank editor window waiting for you to write a program. We're going to use one of the example programs that come with the Arduino IDE, which is just going to make the LED blink on the, on the Uno that's connected to it. So we can go down here to examples, and we can go, we can go to basic, and we can say, we can say blink. And this will load up the blink sketch. The blink sketch is almost like the hello world of the Arduino uh, community. It's, all it does is there's, a, there's one LED built onto the Arduino board connected to digital pin 13 of the Arduino, and we just make that blink. So this is the program to do that, and we'll come back a bit in, uh, in a later uh, recipes to look a bit more about how Arduino code works. But for now, we're just going to send that down to the board. So we just need to, if we just um, switch and have a quick look at what the board's currently doing. See, at the moment, there's not very much happening on it. It's kind of just sort of ready and waiting for some communication. So let's uh, upload a program to it. So first of all, we need to we, there's a kind of a one-time configuration you need to do to tell the Arduino IDE which type of board you're using. So that's fine. We've got Arduino selected. That's what we, that's what we want to use. You also have to specify which serial port you're going to use. And the serial port we want to use is the USB port, which is the one that's dev TTY ACM0. So once we've done that, we shouldn't need to do that again. It should be all ready to go. So when we're ready to upload, we click on that icon there, and we click on that. And again, it's a little bit slow because it has to compile the code that's here. And then, so it's saying compiling sketch. Sketch is the Arduino term for a program. And once it's finished compiling it, it'll start sending it over to the board. So now it's saying uploading. And if we have a look at the board, we should be able to see that uh, it's actually uploaded it really quickly. And you can see the little L light LED there is blinking. Uh, so that's success. We've, um, we've sent a program that we've written on the Raspberry Pi over to the Arduino, and it's running on the Arduino. So that's the basic setup for getting Arduino working with Raspberry Pi. In the recipes that follow, we'll look at some other techniques and ways you can communicate between the Arduino and the Raspberry Pi.